Good day. So this is going to be a healing and ascension message for September for North Node in Taurus. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not when it comes to the tarot portion of the cards. What's most important is that you hold on to the healing mantra and the lessons that you're actually, you know, needing to work on healing for the month of September for your spiritual growth and ascension. Universe, what is my North Node in Taurus? Most need to work on healing. If you've been feeling stuck or like you've been putting things off, like you've been procrastinating but you're not quite sure why, um, your spiritual guides are going to show you exactly why. Wait, when you find out whatever it is you find out, just keep faith. Make sure you have faith and remember that rejection is protection. It just means it's something better for you. North Node in Taurus, you may find out some wild ass shit. Either about yourself or somebody that you were sexually involved with. What is North Node in Taurus most need to work on healing? The month of September universe, please and thank you. North Node and Taurus. What was that? Procrastination and healing. Okay. Let's say procrastination, healing, phoenix, rising, sexual arts, and soulmate in reverse. So, I'm not going to take all these cards, but as you can see, you've been having sex with somebody that's not a high vibrational soulmate. It's been causing you to procrastinate and even feel stuck and stagnant. But healing is here for you, okay? You are going to be a phoenix rising. Apparently, somebody tried to teach you something and you didn't pay attention. You didn't listen. You were, you know, consumed about looks. You weren't really thinking about a person's character and attitude. You wasn't paying attention to that person's sexuality. You wasn't paying attention to that person being prideful. And now that person's mask has either come off or being taken off in September. And you are no longer going to feel entrapped. North Node and Taurus. One card, please, universe. North Node and Taurus. Temptation. Temptation. Life is full of temptations, and right now you are being asked to choose the higher path, okay? Your need to prove that you are worthy and important is clouding your true purpose and tempting you to make wrong decisions. Become aware of what is happening in your life right now. Are you feeling bored in a relationship and looking for something outside of your partnership instead of being honest and working on the challenges you are experiencing or moving on is there a work opportunity that is tempting you to act without integrity in order to get ahead are you using money as an excuse not to follow your heart this car asks you to focus on the bigger picture be honest with yourself and take the higher path another opportunity that is much grander than what you have imagined is on its way just be open to it and allow it in your life Remember, rejection is protection. Give yourself five minutes of uninterrupted time. Write down in what area of your life you are being tempted, what choices you've made, and what are the best choices you could make. Rub your hands together, then place them slightly apart from each other. Imagine that you are holding an orange ray of light between your hands. Focus on courage. 
What does it mean for you to be courageous enough not to buy into temptation? Place your hands on the part of your body where you need the courage the most. Send the orange ray there and repeat, I am courageous and take positive actions that yield the greatest results. Imagine yourself acting courageously and doing what will lead you to the higher path. Somebody's going to tempt you to have sex with them, and I don't think you should, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you should. I don't I don't think you should give in to whatever temptation, North Node and Taurus. What else does North Node and Taurus need to know about temptation for their healing? Also... It, you had sex with somebody and um, they had sex with somebody in law enforcement, right? And it's something about that. They had, they had sex, <laughs> they had sex to stay out of jail, but they didn't know the price that it came for that. And that's why you're not supposed to have sex with them, okay? Could be a Leo involved. A Leo, um, or a Gemini, or a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It's some arguments about who spread it at STD, and the STD is not curable. People are trying to get together. To find out how they can defend themselves. To say, you know, it wasn't them. But the universe wants you to take a leap of faith and I guess move and move away from whatever temptation situation. It did mention something about doing something for some money that's not of integrity. So you need to take a leap of faith and not, not fall for whatever temptation. Whether it's sexual or having to do with some money. What is North Node and Taurus? need to know about temptation for their healing could be somebody has bad karma either that Capricorn Taurus Virgo has bad karma this is Libra energy along with the six of swords in reverse I don't know if uh, Libra is involved or not What does North Node and Taurus most need to know for their healing and ascension regarding this temptation universe? Regarding temptation, divine timing, temperance, patience. What else? If you feel tempted to have sex with somebody because you're lonely... You're going to curse yourself. Do not do it. You have a soulmate that's high vibrational out here for you. But you both could be going through karmic lessons and learning your own personal strength. And how not to be a narcissist or how not to be petty or deal with those type of people. And wrapping up negative past karmic cycles. You and your soulmate is in the process of doing this. So right now, whatever temptation this is, whether it's love, work, all of the above, do not give in to it because it's going to put a harsh, painful ending to possibly your money and or your health. Hopefully not your life. What else does North Node and Taurus need to know? What else does North Node and Taurus need to know? Okay. There's a situation going on. There's a situation going on within a household, within a marriage, where a masculine energy, King of Pentacles in reverse, is heartbroken. They are hurt right now by something that they found out, or this could be you. In the near future.
somebody accepted something that they knew they weren't supposed to accept and now they're in fights and conflicts so they're not left out in the cold and lose money um, someone's trying to use their intuition on how to get out of a sticky situation involving fast communication and walking away you need to fastly communicate and walk away from whatever temptation that will be against your best interest. It's some secrets that you don't know about. It's some secrets you don't know about. This is a young masculine energy. Knight of Pentacles moves very, very slow. And then a King of Swords in reverse, which is a masculine air sign energy um, that doesn't tell the truth. And if you take their offer, if you take their offer, you're not going to have that new beginning. What's the healing mantra for North Node and Taurus? Yeah, it's going to be some truths, truths uh, revealed here in September. Healing Mantra for North Node and Taurus Universe. Healing Mantra for North Node and Taurus. I'm not going to say what came to mind. I think you know who your soulmate is. Also, the high vibrational soulmate. I kind of get a feeling that you do. Yeah. Your intuition flows whenever you're still. Hearing inner guidance. Okay, your healing mantra is hearing inner guidance. You can't really see because of the light, but it's purple. This is more a crown chakra, crown and third eye, to be honest with you. But at any who, it says my intuition flows whenever I am still. You know who your you know who your divine counterpart is. I feel that strongly, North Node and Taurus. So, when you're feeling restless, need to become a better listener and more open-minded, repeat to yourself, my intuition flows whenever I am still. So, when you hear inner guidance, you receive an affirming and defining moment of inspiration. It could be a new direction, a new way of seeing old patterns, or an enchanted idea that is delivered in your own voice out of the silence. When inner guidance is heard, you are ready to either hunker down into the healing benefits of your current circumstances or move forward into a brand new chapter. In either case, this is an opportunity to further align with your soul by embracing your needs. Let's get a word of advice for your healing mantra. You do know who your soulmate is. I don't know if you've seen him in a dream or if you dealt with him or something like that, but you 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 found out who you destined to be with. You do have some energies watching you that feel heartbroken because whatever phase that you went through with them has closed out and they passionately want to restart it with you that comes back to that temptation. What's the advice outcome for hearing inner guidance for North Node and Taurus? Defend yourself. Stand up for your beliefs. You do have spiritual protection as well. So the advice when it comes to you hearing your inner guidance, you need to take a stand for your beliefs as a part of asserting yourself in the pursuit of your goals, whether financially or romantically. You can handle whatever life throws at you. You need to be courageous in your personal life. You may find yourself focusing on a problem that's only going to cause you to stall out. Some negotiations when it comes to work may come up in September. Unforeseen challenges and obstacles. But be strategic. Be in your King of Swords energy. Be assertive and strategic rather than defensive of your reputation. It's going to be some challenges, but listening to your intuition is the best way to handle the pressure and increase your success. Okay? All right, North Node and Taurus, that's the message I have for you. Good day.